Version 5 a.m. Oh gosh. Oh. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, one of the craziest things about my job, especially on this shoot, is how much people look up to me and trust me. It's a scary thing. And to be honest, sometimes I don't feel all the way prepared. This shoot has like a hundred people on set. Everybody's there and everyone's relying on me to direct and to basically take an idea and make it come to life. That's a lot of pressure. I'll never forget the first time I was thrown into something like this. It was my beach volleyball video with Carrie Walsh Jennings. That was a project that came to me seriously like a few days before we shot it. Um, I remember on the phone call, all I was told was, would you like to make a funny volleyball video with three-time Olympic champion gold medalist Carrie Walsh Jennings. I was like, sounds really epic. And I remember I flew to Los Angeles and I got onto the beach. I got all my camera equipment and Carrie shows up and I had no plan. I, I didn't know what I was shooting. I just knew I was going to try to make something work on the spot. And that was the scariest feeling I had ever had. And it made it about a hundred times more scary when Carrie introduced herself and said, so what's the plan today? And I remember feeling like I was gonna throw up. I really got thrown into it. I really just didn't know what to say. But I remember something somebody told me once about directing. Even if you don't know, pretend that you know. Lead people to believe that you are the director, you are confident, you have all the answers, even if you don't know. I know that sounds crazy and that's like really sketchy advice, but honestly, in that moment, I realized I need to just be confident. I just made the decision right then and there. All right, this is what we're doing. And I just went with it. I went with my gut. I went with my instincts. We made one of the coolest videos, in my opinion, that I've ever made. And it's a really successful video and it was really fun. I have lived by that principle since then. Being a director and being someone that a lot of people look up to, you have to sometimes just fake it. You can have moments where you don't know what you're gonna do or what the next setup is. That's fine. That's that's part of this whole process. Be confident and uh, that's what I learned. And that's what I'm gonna have to do today. We'll figure it out. It's so dark out. We're here. I'm gonna go do my thing, make some magic happen. Hopefully you'll get to see a little sneak peek of the day and I'll catch up with you later. Look who it is. He's so stoked so for stoked. our top secret project. <laughs> On set. Cool thing about this place is that some of the pickups for Jurassic Park were filmed here. As well as my favorite movie, Twilight. Say it. Vampire. Uh, I think Twilight, we can learn a lot from Twilight. I've never wanted a human's blood so much. Uh, cinematically. I still don't know if I can control myself. Uh, life lessons. I like my own personal brand of heroin. Just about love. I like watching you sleep. Yep. There are so many people on this set. This is crazy. I love big sets, but I also love like just streamlined. Everyone kind of wears multiple hats and we're very fast. Big crews are awesome, but they're also like overwhelming, intimidating, sometimes unnecessary. Chopped wood for the first time. I did chop wood for the first time. How did it feel? 
I mean, it was great. Everything's still attached, so I'd say I did a pretty good job. Going good, going strong, going good, going strong. Two, one, action. <laughs> hey, uh. Hey, looks amazing. That's a wrap on Andrea, Vincent, Jordan, Carly, Cora, Eric, Crystal, Michael, Peter. Who am I missing? How are you feeling after day one? I feel great. I feel like I'm a pretty boss because, you know, I had this mask over my eyeballs. <laughs> and I hit the target twice. I know. You're and freaking. I did it without the mask. Day one down. Yes, one yes. more to go. No, that's 